So I'll just push this to the side. We're going to get our dark card base out. I'm using Mossy Meadow for mine. There's our quarter sheet, four and a quarter by five and a half. And there is a piece that is four inches by five and a quarter. And we're just going to glue that right on top. Um, I'm not going to do any stamping on this, but if you want to, after, <laughs> after you see the, how this gets put together, you can actually decorate this. Um, but I don't think it's necessary. So I'm just going to put it flat on there. Okay. We've got that piece. You guys are like, what is she doing? This looks like a really boring card. <laughs> All right, so we've got this. And I also want to take out this DSP right here, four inches wide by three inches tall. And I want to see both sides. So I want the both sides to coordinate. So the piece that I picked goes with this paper. Um, this is from... What is this pack called? Country Floral Lane. Very pretty paper pack. So this has Mossy Meadow on it and it has this on the back in petal pink. And so I'm just going to take out my trimmer. This is the only time I think we'll need the trimmer here, but this is what kind of makes the card. All right, so I'm gonna take this piece that's four inches wide by three inches tall and this is um, the reason I made it this size is because with a six by six piece you can still get two out of it and if you were using 12 by 12 you would get 12 out of it which is pretty cool okay so if this is directional you would want the four inch piece um, side on the top and then we're just going to rotate it so the diagonal corners are in the track um, and then we're going to use one side for I'm going to use both sides. Oops, I moved it. Carefully put that in the track without moving the paper. We're just cutting this on the diagonal. That's all we need the trimmer for. Okay, so now we have it like this. If this is directional, you're going to take your piece here that's going to be upside down. And now um, this is how this is going to go on our card like this. So I'm going to take the piece that's behind. This is kind of our B side of the paper. And I'm going to put glue along the edge of the straight sides, not the diagonal, because we're making a pocket. So just along the straight sides. And I like this pattern, this flowery pattern. So I want that one on top. So if you do have a directional paper, this still works as long as as both sides are not directional in the same direction, if that makes sense. There we go. And then this piece just goes on this side. Hope you guys are having a good day. I got another busy Wednesday today. We got two more team kid sessions, so today will be one of the last ones. So I got my shirts on. All right, so now we've got a pocket here, but I'm not going to try to put anything in the pocket while this glue is drying, so we're gonna put this off to the side. Okay, so now on our cutting directions, we have a die cut medium to large rectangular shape. And I used the second largest scallop contours. I love this whole die set. Um, this is in the same color as your card base. And then it has on neutral, whatever fits on your rectangular die cut. So by the way, this is... Um, one sixteenth over two and a half <laughs> wide and three and three quarters tall to fit on here to go right inside perfectly in the um, dotted edge here. Tony loves these dies too. Yes. Oh, the sun is shining by Vesta. That's nice. Yeah, it's some sunny day here too. 
you have your granddaughter because of spring break. How fun. All right. So I already stamped on this one. So I'm just going to glue this piece on here. What I would say is probably keep your sentiments up at the top here because we're going to tuck this in. And um, if you wanted to tuck in a tea bag or another little flat treat, like maybe a Giardelli or something, that might be able to fit in here. So if you wanted that to kind of peek out of the pocket, your sentiment will be just a little bit um, above that. So this is a fun pocket card. Put this off to the side again and just glue this together. This is a really easy fun fold. And it just goes together really quick. I actually have one of my alternates I already cut for, but I didn't put it together. So we're just going to do it real quick while we chat after I put this one together. And then I have two more alternatives also. All right, so here's that. And that just slips right in here. This should have had enough time to dry now. I'm just going to be real gentle pulling that in there. And look at that. It just fits perfectly in there. A cute little pocket. And then I have on our sheet here, 19 inches of ribbon and um, the small label. So a small label for behind the sentiment, like the scalloped part of the double oval punch, and then a label for the sentiment, like the smooth part of the double oval punch, and then the ribbon. So I have those right there. I love this punch. If you don't have this double oval punch, I mean, oh my goodness, run out and get it right now. Order with dub.com. You need it. It is the best. Okay. So I'm just going to glue that together. And then here's my 19 inches of ribbon. This is that, um, what did they call this? Bur they called it burlap, but it's not really burlap, but it's kind of like a crumb cakey color. And it did go with this sweet You can see I stamped off to the side on this one. So I just stamped the other side because paper has two sides. All right, so I'm going to put that on dimensionals after I wrap some ribbon around here. So what I want to do Oh, you still have the double oval whale punches, Julie. That's funny. You've probably been stamping a while. I had a couple whale punches, but I like the other ones better. So I, I got rid of those because they store nicer, but you probably have nice storage for yours. If you've got good storage, I mean, by all means, right? Okay. So I'm just going to wrap this around. And we're just going to tie a bow off to the side. Oh, Julie, you almost missed it. I'm glad you caught me. <laughs> we're just doing a fun little pocket card and Nice, cute little quick thing. I'm going to make this kind of go off this way, I think. Fussing with my bow. And get my scissors out and trim my ends. I'm going to make this a little smaller. There. And I can scoot that over too. So I'm just going to put this up on dimensionals right there in the middle. I'm actually going to put some small ones. Sorry, I think I bumped the camera. Some small ones on the top and bottom just to kind of hug the, um, the ribbon here. Hopefully not too high on the top. We don't want to, to put, have, uh, put it on the back of the, um, on the background here. <laughs> Julie, you don't have good storage. You just want everything in the catalog. I know, right? And they're going to come out with a new one here real soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't wait to see all the new in colors. I'm really excited about that. All right. I'm going to scoot this down just a little bit and then put that right there ish. And now we got to add a few embellishments. And I think I'm going to do these iridescent rhinestones. So where did my take your pick tool go? There it is. Got my little putty end. Oh, this one's a loner. We'll have to put that down here somewhere. There you go. And then we got a medium size. 
And we'll just throw on another little one, just kind of sprinkled on there. Maybe we'll throw on another couple up here. Hmm. I don't know where that one would go. Maybe right there. <laughs> All right, so there's that. That is our little pocket card. That turned out really cute. And real quick, I'll just make the next one because I have it ready. So I'll put my dimensionals there. We'll get ready. We'll put this up here. And I don't need to tell you what my dimensions are because they're the exact same thing. Oh, and I, I decorated my envelope because you got to decorate your envelope, right? So there's our first card. And now you can see the pieces for my second one. This one's using the stuff from the Sentimental Park um bundle not the bundle just the the sweet the, the paper the stamps and all that okay so we'll just quickly put all this together and i have to cut my dsp real quick you can see how quick this goes together without having any explanations I liked how both of those kind of went together with the blue on the back there. Put that off to the side. We'll just have to glue all this together. I have thinking, well, there it is. Thinking of you. <laughs> I thought that'd be a nice one to send to a friend. Just like this one. Just wanted to say, I love that we are friends. I need to send more just because cards because it's nice to send some joy in the mail, right? Sometimes I find I, I make pretty cards and then they just sit in my studio here and I just need to prioritize mailing them. <laughs> what about you guys? Do you guys mail enough cards? Okay, so we got that one. Just have to do the edges here. This is on the corner of the white piece, not the the background. Um, that's because we could get more out of our paper that way. So again, you can get two of these cards out of a six by six, but you could get 12 out of a 12 by 12 because of the way that you can cut four inches down the whole thing three times. All right, so I'm not gonna put that in the pocket yet. And there's my decoration on my envelope. And we'll put this in in just a second, but we'll have to wrap our ribbon around. So I've got the coordinating navy ribbon here and that's 19 inches of ribbon best of love sending cards good julie says she needs to mail more i i, I just forget sometimes <laughs> You know, I make cards, but uh, let's see. Why is this twisting so much? Let's try it again. Hmm. Turn over, maybe. Turn over this way. There. That's better. Nineteen inches should give you enough room to kind of play with your bow and get it tight enough so that you can trim off the ends. Could probably get away with eighteen, looks like, but it's always nice to have a little wiggle room. use these. Do 
you guys ever use the black ones for dark colors? I love these black ones. I hope they're selling enough of them that they can continue to offer these because I love the black ones. So if you haven't bought the black ones, I mean, the, it comes with both the big and the little in the same package. And you get two sheets of each, which is fabulous. So look how that kind of just disappears on the back there. So on this card, you can kind of see the dimensionals. This one, they're just going to disappear. Nobody's going to know. How is that floating up there? <laughs> I just have all my dimensionals just in my little caddy here. Okay, so here's card number two. And we need to add some embellishments with that one also. And again, you can just stick some tea in here. Look at that. That just fits nice. Julie loves the black ones too, yes. <laughs> All right, and oh, I'm gonna use these elegant faceted gems. Look at they're almost gone. I love these because they were petal pink and white and clear. Huh, look how many I used. Okay, since I've got more of the white ones left, I'll use those. Oh, take your pick, come here. I like you. I'll just push my ribbon up. It got kind of pushed down. And then we'll just, we'll just stick it right there. Okay, there's card number two, and I have two alternates that I'm actually teaching at my class tomorrow. So if you want to get my class packet, I should go grab those cards too so you can see the whole class. But we're doing both of these. I thought this was really cute. Sending cheer, because it's, um, it's the tea paper here. So this would go great with this tea. All right. Overflowing with happiness. This is from the bottle, um, bottled happiness. So same thing on this one. Same paper, just a different color. We make two each of three different cards. And so um, this one's using the Orchid Oasis. I just thought that was really pretty. So if you place an order with me um, using the host code for my class here for March, and I have to go look that up because I don't remember what it is, but uh, yeah. Um, you can earn the class packet for free for these two cards and four other ones. So let me let me go show you the, the class real quick. I don't post pictures of it, but I will um, post a video of it um, with the measurements here coming up soon. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab that from the other room. Just a moment. Okay, yeah. All right, so we've got two manly cards. <laughs> I thought these were so cute. They're um, gatefold cards. So we've got Every Day With You is Another Adventure Together for the Long Haul. This is my sweet and simple stamp class, and it comes with all of the pre-cut um, DSP and all of that. And if your order is over 50, I'll send you a whole bolt of this pretty um, gold ribbon. So we've got those two. I'll teach you how to make a perfectly sized um, belly band so that it slides nice but doesn't like fall when you pick it up. So we've got, these are not part of the glass, but these are all are. And then these also, so pretty, right? you'll get the little butterflies and the, the tiny little embellishments. Um, I just don't send the, the ribbon. You'll have to use whatever ribbon you get on hand, but you earn the whole bolt for free if your order's over 50. So anyway, that is part of that March class, and you can order that from today through the end of next, well, through Friday next week. That would be the, what date is that? I can't see the, <laughs> can't see the, uh, calendar here. Today's the 15th. So 16, 17, a week from the 17th is the 23rd, <laughs> the 24th. It's next Friday, <laughs> the Friday in uh, March. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to put my face back on because I think that it might stall the video a little bit, but thank you for watching. And if you like any of the things that you saw here, you can always order with me at orderwithdeb.com. And I appreciate all of your comments, all of your sharing and um, getting on my email list and liking my YouTube video channel and everything. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.